worm. Prepare yourself. Well guys, I'm back from my two week vacation and I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who kept up with me on the community tab, through Twitter, or through the Discord. I do appreciate that a lot guys. And as I said from the very beginning, the first video that I'm going to be making is going to be on a Dragon Ball Extended Universe series. Essentially, it's going to be the Dragon Ball Extended Universe project. And what that entails is I'm going to be making videos that focus in on certain characters and the video would cover exactly what that character would have in their movie. Now, after watching Infinity War a second time today, I'm wholeheartedly going to dedicate a lot of my time into building this new universe. Now, a lot of you guys say live action Dragon Ball cannot be done I used to think that I was there when Dragon Ball Evolution first dropped I was there when I was excited to see a Dragon Ball live action movie and it turned out to be complete garbage and that is the reason that I want to make this I could go the route of making this very kid friendly and something similar to Pixar with the same animation but I want to go full throttle and make this a live action spectacle something very very similar to if not identical to what marvel has done with their properties and i believe that it can be done this formula can work especially well with dragon ball seeing as how there are tons of different characters that could get movies and different events that can cu culminate into something amazing and that is what i'm going to be talking about today guys so first things first who starts out the Dragon Ball Extended Universe series. Well, it was hard. I wanted to start out with Goku because that's what you guys voted on, but I really didn't want to start at Dragon Ball Z at Goku with Raditz. I wanted that to be its own second movie, and so I was really up in the air between Piccolo and Krillin, and then I thought Piccolo would be so much better at being the Iron Man of this universe. He could be the one that we start off as and the one that pulls the entire series forward because Piccolo is such an integral character in Dragon Ball Z, less so in Super and GT and every other series after Dragon Ball Z, but I think that if we do this formula right, if we do give Piccolo that first movie, then we can have more Piccolo influence in other movies and we can see exactly how that culminates into some of these spectacular Infinity War style movies that I have planned for later on down the road. So what does this Piccolo movie entail? Well, it was tough, but I do want to start at the end of Dragon Ball. I want to start where Piccolo is on a revenge quest to face off and kill Goku in the martial arts tournament. I, I think that's the best spot to have Piccolo because we can go from having Piccolo be a quasi-villain to seeing him turn into a hero and actually see some growth through the, from the character through the movies. And I think it's really important to start out here and Piccolo seeing as how he's gotten shelved in Super and other series I think that he would be really good in this movie we can delve into his psyche a little bit more what drives him why he wants to get revenge on Goku and the main thing is we got to keep Piccolo very Piccolo so how will we do that well the first thing is I want Piccolo to be CGI I know others might want him to be live action but I think if we have a level of CGI on Piccolo that is on the same level as we saw on Thanos in Infinity War, I think that would be perfect. I mean, you could do it with prosthetics, but I think that if you do and go in that direction, it would feel so similar to Dragon Ball Evolution, and I want to pull Piccolo away from that. So I think a CGI Piccolo would be fine in this case. And if we, again, if they do it in the way that they've done it in Infinity War, I don't see a problem. If we can get every little bit of emotion, that's fine as well. So the movie is going to start off and be a sort of intertwined story with Piccolo facing his demons or specifically Demon King Piccolo, his father, through his meditation. And by that I mean I want Piccolo to be having reoccurring sort of nightmares and uh, having troubled meditations with him facing off against Demon King Piccolo. I mean he still has all his father's hate all his father's evil 
contained inside of him and so i would like this to be portrayed whenever he starts meditating trying to control his anger his father burst in attacking him asking him why he hasn't defeated goku kind of doubting him similar in the way that if you guys have seen the last season of samurai jack the new one where jack is tormented by the souls he couldn't save and he's kind of going crazy i want that same similar thing to be happening with piccolo X the craziness. I want him to be doubting himself and having his father judge him and having that be pushed forward. This movie, in my opinion, is going to be all focused on Piccolo and I do want it to be a father-son story. Uh, Piccolo trying to fulfill his father's dreams and his father's hopes while also going in his own different direction and trying to grow up on his own. I think that would be the perfect start to the Dragon Ball universe. At every turn when he is going to be trying to figure out what is good and what is bad, where he has lapses, where he's not so angry and so filled with revenge, his father will pop into his head and, and tell him that no, you need to stay the course and all that. So that is the main focus of what I want the story of Piccolo to be. Um, the other aspect of it, I want him to have sort of this uncle, estranged uncle relationship with Kami. He will visit Kami and Kami will talk to him on the lookout, try to convince him to go to a light side, try to stop him from fighting Goku and you know doing the same thing that his father did because Piccolo is trying to tell himself that once he kills Goku he's going to destroy the, the, the planet, he's going to bring devastation on the world and Kami knows this so this will fill in later on in the story where Kami realizes that maybe Piccolo can not change and he's going to try to take him out himself. So Piccolo joins the martial arts tournament and I wanted to go very very similarly to how it went in the anime we want to see the same stuff and sort of the same iconic scenery that we've have in there and that's the thing that happened with Dragon Ball Evolution uh, not only did it not have enough money behind it it didn't have enough love and it didn't respect the source material I want to do all three of those I mean there are going to be changes that I'm going to be making through the series through some of the lore but nothing a hundred nothing that's going to be devastating to what the main integral aspects of how the universe work are I'm definitely not going to be changing any of that stuff so I do want to see some of the same similar stuff that happened in early Dragon Ball when he goes in and Goku meets him for the first time. We see Goku, we see Krillin, we see Tien, we see Yamcha. And just to get it out of the way, guys, ethnicity-wise, um, I mean, for you, you can put whoever you want in these roles. I'm going to tell you who I want in these roles. When it comes to the Saiyans, I think the Saiyans should be Asian. They should be of Eastern origin. And just because the anime and the manga come from Eastern origin, and there are some characters that you could make Caucasian, there are some characters that maybe you could make them a different ethnicity. I don't think Goku is one of them. I think that it was done very well in in a fan-made series uh, or movie called The Light of Hope where we do have Gohan looking more Asian. We, so we do have Trunks looking like he's half Asian, um, half uh, Caucasian because and Bulma is Caucasian. I like the direction that they went with that. I don't mind Bulma being Caucasian. Um, I think that makes more sense than Goku being it. So in, in my own personal taste, I think Krillin should be Asian. Um, I don't really care whether he's short or not. That's not a big thing for me. Uh, he can be a little bit shorter than Goku. I do want pick to be the tallest one in the room though um, Goku can also be Asian um, Tien uh, Asian I do want some CGI for his eye though I don't think that prosthetic eye would do anybody any good and then we have Yamcha who I think should be Asian it's a it's a world martial arts tournament I want to recreate the arena I want to recreate the world as flawlessly as we can this needs to be a very vibrant and and world filled with wonder and that's kind of what I want to bring I don't want it to be like the uh, the DCEU where it's very dark and they change a lot of things I don't want that. I want it to be, they're going to have its dark moments, but I want it to be more similarly to say like Guardians where they kept sort of that, that, that color and that fun aspect to it, even though there are some serious situations in this movie. And Goku, I want Goku to be very lighthearted, but serious at the same time. He's going to have his lighthearted moments when he's talking to his friends, when he's even facing some of his enemies, but I do want him to be serious. And when Piccolo enters that room, I want him to be serious. And I honestly want the, the movie to have a, 
sense that it is an anime movie that that it is uh, that is showing some of the things that we love from anime some of the shots we love some of the uh, scenery we love and uh, the best way that I can explain it is if you guys have watched Scott Pilgrim vs. the world that movie is very filled with a lot of anime references and I would love it to some of the scenes to look very anime like that like really respecting the manga and respecting Akira Toriyama's work and as far as music goes I mean I'm 100% for new music I'm 100% for using the Japanese soundtrack when it fits but for Piccolo himself I do want him to have that Piccolo theme that Bruce Falconer uh, made for the US broadcast I think that Piccolo theme really fits Piccolo very well and this is coming from somebody who really only watched the US broadcast I haven't watched the Japanese version I apologize but I think that that would work the best and so once he meets him we're gonna cut uh, you know the movie's gonna keep going there are gonna be scenes I do want there to be a scene at some point where Piccolo is like looking at a you know a child and his dad or not wishing that he could be that child but more wishing like he wanted to be a good dad to or a good father figure or, or seeing that th that person is a good father figure something along those lines because there is gonna be a Piccolo second movie that or uh, or a Gohan single movie that's gonna be having both of them training together so that's gonna be further off in the future and I definitely want this movie to kind of have some of that in it so we can kind of see where Piccolo's direction is going to Piccolo is going to face off against Krillin this fight I want to showcase that Krillin is tough but I want I do want to show that Piccolo is a lot stronger and if we mimic the fight that happens in the anime in the manga that's fine with me honestly if we even go page to page that's fine I mean if we go back to My Hero Academia the manga in that uh, the manga version really has a lot of scenes that correlate exactly to the anime and a lot of fans really appreciate that stuff and I would appreciate that too if a lot of the scenes really correlate to that. I mean we can add a couple little things here and there but I do want the fight to feel similar. I do want Krillin to tap out because he knows that he cannot defeat Piccolo and then we go on to the next fight where he faces off against Hiro and this character is going to be Kami in disguise. Kami has disguised himself to come into the tournament and use the Mafuba against Piccolo because he wants to seal him up because he's afraid what Piccolo is going to do and at around this time of the movie I want Piccolo to be sort of like acknowledging the strength of Krillin like maybe kind of going in a more lighthearted direction but once he faces off against Kami and Kami betrays him because he doesn't at this point now he doesn't really believe that Kami is an actual threat to his life but when Kami tries to uh, basically trap him in that jar and and I do want Kami to have a line or a certain, certain lines where he's explaining what the Mafuba is because people who are not anime fans are not going to really know so I do want some sort of explanation and a good one at that and so when Kami tries to trap Piccolo in that jar Piccolo uh, rever reverses it or blocks it whatever he did in the anime I wanted the same thing to happen where Kami gets trapped into the jar and Piccolo is going to hide the jar in his gi and he's going to be like you know what now you're trapped and this is going to start off the whole hatred between Piccolo and Kami a little bit more because he betrayed him and then Piccolo is going to go more into the dark side before he faces off against Goku. Once he faces off against Goku, again, I do want the fight to be very similarly to the anime, but I do want a couple little things added on there, especially showcasing that Goku is formidable himself. He is extremely strong. He is on the same page as Piccolo, and I do want the impacts, the fight, to have a lot of resonance. I do want the announcer guy, the main announcer guy, I want that guy specifically. I want somebody that is going to look exactly like that guy. I would say for about all these characters, I want them to look very similar, if not identical, maybe with a few little upgrades here and there to their designs. I don't want to change them 100% like they did with like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or any of the other characters that they've done in, in the uh, DCEU. But I do want them to like resemble very clearly that those are those characters. And this announcer guy is definitely going to be 100% looking like that. And so the fight continues. Piccolo becomes larger. And I do want this to look like it's going to be uh, intense. Around this point, Goku ends up overwhelming Piccolo. Piccolo shrinks back down. He breaks out Kami. They have a conversation where Goku's explaining why he had to do what he had to do he's killing his father and explaining what it means to be a hero and then at that point Goku takes Piccolo out knocks him out beats him up does the barrage that he does in the in the manga and the anime and then that is basically it honestly that's going to be the huge climactic part of the story he's about to leave all beat up he's trying to leave anyway and then Goku gives him a sensu bean he gets all healed up and then he leaves and at that point he's realizing that you know 
in his head he's pushing his father back a little bit and he's pushing his father out of his thoughts and you know he's you know he goes back to meditation he confronts his father one last time and pushes him more out of his thoughts until he's completely essentially erased but then there's going to be a little hint that he's still in there and that's going to be the end of the movie there's other things that we could add i mean i do want to go more in depth in these videos you guys can add different things that you guys might want to see or that are important to add into the story but i do want this to be 100 percent focused as piccolo being the main character i know goku is the main character of the series but that's the one thing that the dragon ball mcu version could do very well is to give these other characters full stories that make us care about them similarly to what they did with marvel so that's basically it guys and then at the very end i do want to have an end credit scene i do want to see something where you see like a saiyan walking to their ship that will have like an alien uh guy from frieza's army coming up and be like where are you going we need to report to vegeta i'm gonna go for a quick trip to earth to see what my brother has done with the planet and then that would be it and that would bring us to the next next movie that's going to have uh, be a goku movie focused solely on goku and his relationship with his brother and that's kind of where i want these films to be i want them to be very uh, connected and grounded like father son brother and brother and we'll have that later down the line i mean eventually i do want to have like 17 and 18 brother and sister have a, a movie focused on that and that's essentially my thoughts guys so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this and what characters deserve their own movie in this universe i'm going to be coming out with more videos on different characters and pushing this story along so make sure you watch this video and every video after this so that way you can get the full context of the story and uh if you guys want to see more of this uh, story play out hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button this is going to be dragon ball black signing off